Hi, it's Rebecca Sullivan of Louisville Family Counseling, and I am coming to you from my home in a much more relaxed state. I do not have my microphone on tonight, so hopefully you can hear what I say. Um, I did turn off the air, but now the refrigerator is running. So um, we will do what we need to do right now with the COVID-19, aka coronavirus. We are in a point of transition as a nation globally and how we are doing things, how we're able to handle it and what it looks like. So even at the office, we have been closed since Monday of this week. At this point, we are saying that we will be closed at least through the end of next week. And we're kind of taking it week by week to see what comes down the pipeline and what's expected of how we do things right now. We are doing telehealth sessions, um, so you can talk with us one-to-one -one and keep your appointment. If you feel like, because we all understand, I know I've been a little more stressed lately and a lot of the people I talk to, there's more anxiety, there's more confusion, frustration, and anxiety. So if you were thinking about counseling and you want to consider us as an option, um, by all means we take Blue Cross Blue Shield, except for Magellan and Blue Value, I believe it is. Um, we do take private pay and there are definitely other resources out there if your insurance is something different, we understand. Um, you can get in touch with us at LewisvilleFamilyCounseling.com or call us at 336-945-0137. Um, just let us know what it is that you need. So saying that, we're reading the Just One Thing, Developing a Buddha's Brain, One Simple Practice at a Time by Dr. Rick Hansen. The book is in the office as well. So luckily I was able to find a printout for the chapters. Chapter 12 is Take Pleasure. <clears throat> Please feel free to go to our website. I believe the link to the videos is under my bio. I'm Rebecca Sullivan. Um, or our Facebook page where you can find all the previous videos because there's a wealth of information on coping skills and ways that we can manage our anxiety and stress. So today's chapter is called Take Pleasure. When you find pleasure in life, you are not pushing away things that are hard or painful. You are simply opening up to the sweet stuff that's already around you and basking, luxuriating, and delighting in it. This activates the calming and soothing parasympathetic wing of your autonomic nervous system and quiets the fight or flight sympathetic wing and its stress response hormones. Besides lifting your mood, settling your fears, and brightening your outlook, the stress relief of taking pleasure offers physical health benefits, such as strengthening your immune system, improving digestion, and balancing hormones. So how do we do this? Relish the pleasures of daily living, starting with your senses. There we go. <laughs> what smells good? The skin of an orange, wood smoke on the air, dinner on a stove, or a young child's hair? Taste delicious. Strong coffee, delicate tea, French toast, chocolate, tossed salad, or goat cheese. Looks beautiful. A sunrise, sunset, full moon, a baby sleeping, red leaves in the autumn, images of the galaxies, fresh fallen snow. Sounds wonderful. Waves on the seashore, wind through the pine trees, a dear friend laughing, Beethoven's ode to joy, silence itself. Feels good on your skin. Newly washed sheets, a good back scratch, warm water, a fresh breeze on a muggy day. Next include the mind. What do you like to think about or remember? For example, bring to mind a favorite setting, a mountain meadow, a tropical beach, a cozy living room chair, and imagine yourself there. Last, savor these pleasures. Sink into them, take time with them, and let them fill your body and mind, marinate in pleasure, notice any resistance to feeling really good and thought that is foolish or wrong and then see if you can let that go and fall back into pleasure. Enjoy yourself. So that's a really good message for right now as we again are navigating kind of this forced slowing down. It's not that us slowing down is a bad thing. We live in a world where we rush, 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 get things done. Um, so I definitely encourage people to, you see these um, bins behind me. I pulled out the crafting supplies and I am knocking out a bunch of things that I've wanted to do and haven't done. Um, going out last night, my dog and I went out to a local area. There weren't many people. We are practicing social distancing 
but just getting out into nature and taking things in. Um, I did sneeze and cough, but I have seasonal allergies. <laughs> so you may get some looks from people if you do the same. It's not the virus. It is just something that happens every year. But whatever you can do, take care of yourself. If you're not feeling well, please be getting in those fluids, getting in the vitamin C, anything that you can to make yourself feel better. Right now is the time that we get to take care of ourselves more. There's a lot of worries and anxieties, but we do things just as the book title says, just one thing. We slow it down, we take it day by day, and if that is too anxiety producing, like I tell my clients, you take it moment by moment. Thank you for joining us.